In recent years, corporate workplaces worldwide have seen a concerning rise in the number of employees reporting debilitating back pain. What was once shrugged off as a mere inconvenience is now recognized as a significant health issue. Physiotherapists say this is impacting both productivity and employee well-being. So imagine somebody going to the office around 8 o'clock and starts work and continues sitting down till 12 o'clock when he's going for lunch. You can imagine what, what will be going wrong. Yes? So just by doing nothing, by just keeping a certain posture continuously, I mean, you've exposed yourself to, to damage. The prevalence of low back pain is staggering. According to the World Health Organization, in 2020, approximately 619 million people globally, or one in 13 individuals, suffered from low back pain, LBP. By 2050, this number is projected to skyrocket to almost a billion people. Physiotherapist Gabriela says that to combat back pain in the workplace, it is crucial to maintain proper posture and take regular breaks. We don't have to sit for long. For instance, if your work requires you to sit for six to seven or eight hours, in between for about every 45 minutes to maximum one hour, you should stand up, walk around or do some stretches. There are some stretches that you are supposed to be doing in between activities every time. Inadequate water in our system, dehydration can lead to a lot of muscle spasms. So it's also very important that we drink a lot of water. Labor consultant Abraham Yale underscores the importance of the ergonomic workstations in preventing back pain. If the chair is not structured in such a way that it will help your, your vertebral arm, you may have a problem. Sometimes some of the chairs you use, uh, you develop waste, waste problems. If you don't have the right chairs, of time your employees will be reporting uh, to hospital for their back pain, for their waist, and they'll be attending physiotherapy, all sort of things. However, a therapist at a rehabilitation centre in Accra, Abena Bin Tumoni, says effective back pain treatment extends beyond posture and breaks. We do treatments, we also do stimulation, then we incorporate exercises, gym exercises. I will advise them to take physiotherapy serious. From physiotherapy to workplace economics and exercise, collaboration among healthcare professionals, employers and employees is essential to addressing back pain among corporate workers.